look at you now look at me <sighs> look at you now look at me <sighs> and i'm like oh my god okay bitch like i'm looking at you right now like and i'm thirsty with my kirkland signature water period been a while huh <laughs> what is up crackhead nation it is your girl princess galaxy and today well at least right now i feel like garbage because i just ate a week old cheesecake from the cheesecake factory um that was in the back of my fridge so i kind of feel like throwing up but other than that i'm doing okay so obviously you have not seen me in a minute or two or <laughs> as relative time likes to call it a month or two in case you have not noticed the queens of my existence black pink came out with a new song i think it's gonna be two weeks from now the day i'm posting this because i'm posting it on friday so not only is this like the latest reaction you've ever seen but it's also gonna be a ranking of every black pink song which is basically eight songs <laughs> i'm just kidding not eight songs <laughs> nine no seriously so we all know at this point like oh you know like we all get the joke blackpink doesn't have that many musicals <laughs> oh my god <laughs> they don't really be doing nothing <laughs> well this year not only are we getting two pre-release singles we're also getting a full album in september so i thought it'd be the perfect time as a blink um, and it's coming up upon their i think five year anniversary um of the group debuting with boombaya i thought it'd be really fun to just rank all the songs and i've been a blink since pre-debut so i don't want to be like oh well i was a blink before like you or blah 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 but honestly if you've been a blink since like before blackpink even started you understand all of the droughts all of the depression all of the blackpink album blackpink album all the copy and pasting we've done on yg's twitter instagram facebook <laughs> And so now we're getting it and to celebrate I'm gonna be ranking in true blink style So I have four categories. I'm gonna tell you guys the four tiers I have and we're just gonna get into it I'm really excited. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, I talk about crackhead shit like k-pop concert related stuff Obviously, I can't talk about k-pop <laughs> Can I talk? Obviously, I can't talk about k-pop concerts now because you know COVID-19 but normally I do, but now I'm just talking about K-pop stuff and I'm a huge Blink, XOL, and ARMY. So if you like that, like and subscribe. That really helps me actually. Liking the video really does help me. So let's just get it. So the first tier I have is like the top tier. So I have like a top tier, like ABCD basically. Cause I'm a quirky Pisces. I thought it'd be fun to, you know, name them because my channel i do what i want okay so the first one is superior so superior is explains itself the top the top the creme de la creme you know like the, that bitch like if, if that bitch was a song it would be the superior songs period second one is you almost there like you a bop but if it wasn't for the superiors then you would not even be existing right now the next one is it's cute which is like it's a cute song like i won't skip it if it's on i would prefer like another song to be on but this will do you know like me and me and cameron in the car you know like taking a road trip like i'll i'll play i won't skip it and the last one is let me just skip this song child because not that a black pink song is bad per se but there are some that i enjoy more than others and you will definitely find out which ones they are so let's just get into it woohoo i'm gonna be starting from the beginning so we're gonna be starting with boom by ya oh black pink fresh faced wide-eyed and bushy tail before the drought of 2017 so boom by ya actually is one of the best debut songs i've ever heard <laughs> i mean if you compare like the debut songs of like my other favorite group like exo like it's just cringy and i feel like boom by ya has a really what is it called stood the test of time so i think i'm gonna put boombaya in the superior category i know right off the bat it doesn't really make much sense but boombaya is literally like that girl like she slays so hard and oh uh, i just love it 
Now, Whistle is also off of Square One, which included Bumbaya as well, because it was like a joint debut kind of thing, but it was like Bumbaya out the debut, and then Whistle was kind of like the, the second single. So, Whistle actually has been a fan favorite for a really long time. Um, Whistle slaps so hard live. I'm just gonna say that. Like, <laughs> It really do be hitting different, like making whistle like a whistle bomb bomb, like I'm gay now. I know a lot of people like whistle, but I'm gonna put it in the you almost dare category because it doesn't hit like Boombaya for me personally because I love like EDM, hard tracks, you know, like the huge bass, you know, like just crazy shit, you know, <laughs> like, bleh, like me, like crazy shit. I'm really gonna put whistle in you almost dare because it's a bop and it's legendary for Blackpink's like you know, aesthetic. It's like they're black and they're pink side. But for me, it's like, it's a little lower, but it's still cute. I didn't put it in that category, but you get what I'm saying. So the next one is Playing With Fire. I loved Playing With Fire. It was so good. Like Lisa's verse, like, oh no, not eat me money, what on the girl. So for Playing With Fire, I'm most likely gonna put it, I'm like stuck between Superior or You Almost There. I think I'm gonna put it in Superior because I just love it so much. Like, how can I not? So the next one is Stay. And I mean, Here's the thing with Stay, okay? It doesn't do much for me, and it's like, na 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 Like, I, I can't get on board with that. I like all the girls' vocals in it. And if you listen to that song, like, this is, a, this is like a random tidbit, but Jisoo has really improved a lot. So let's give a round of applause for Queen Jisoo, especially during that, like, like as if it's your last era to kill this love, she really improved. So I just wanna give a shout out to her, because I like, Jisoo's looking underrated, but, we won't talk about that. All right, so the next song is As If It's Your Last. So Majima Chodom, I keep going in between like saying the Korean version of it and then like the English version of it. Not version, but like the translation of the title. As If It's Your Last, it's one of those songs where it's like, it's like when, like when I first heard it, I was like, it's okay. And then it really grew on me. Like I was low-key shook. So I'm gonna put it under it's cute because it's not almost there and it's not superior, at least in my opinion, because I don't really like those kind of like the pink side. Like the pink side's cute, like a black pink, but it's not like my favorite, obviously. So I'm gonna be putting it in um it's cute because it is a cute song. Machima Chadom. Machi Machima ba Miko Chadom. I'm fucking up the Korean, but <laughs> Koreans don't attack me in the comments. So the next one is Doodoo Doodoo, which honestly, I feel like Doodoo Doodoo was a really interesting turning point for Blackpink's not just discography, but also career. And also this was like when Blackpink title tracks started to like kind of sound the same. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love all of them, but Doodoo Doodoo really had like the formula of a Blackpink song. They really solidified like, their formula from do to do to with kill this love and kind of how you like that so powerful it's so good like, in the music video jenny throwing the fucking bags rose on the chandelier like lisa with the with the i don't know what it's called in korean but the light stick and then jisoo just with her natural beauty like i really just cannot take it like honestly it's one of their best music like that and kill this love is like my personal favorite and how you like that but we'll get into that soon so i'm gonna be putting do 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 or d4 do for I don't know. We, we can never find a consistent name for that. I'm gonna be putting it under superior because I feel like all the title tracks are just so good. Like it's fit, it fits my aesthetic so well. They're loud, they annoy my mother, they're perfect, you know? <laughs> like I play them too loud. I just it, we have no choice but to stand. Come on now. Okay, so the next one is Forever Young, and already I'm putting in a superior tier. There's so many in a superior tier already, but Forever Young, it's one of those songs where it's like, it's just so addicting. Like, it's so good. And like the what a bomb bomb at the end, like, what a bomb bomb, what a bomb bomb, what a bomb bomb, what a bomb bomb. Hey, what the fuck? I love it so fun. Like, you don't know hype until you hear like what a bomb bomb, like that whole section live. Like, I really like low key transcended, like that whole time. Oh my God. It's I just love Forever Young. So I'm gonna be putting Forever Young um, in Superior, like I said. So next is Really. Really is actually a really good song. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> um, ironic much? What is that called when like, you don't mean to say something, but it's just true anyway. Like it's like a coincidence. Coincidence? 
I don't, I, like I said, really like really. <laughs> And I'm gonna put it under you almost there, only because of Lisa's rap. I don't know why, but I love Liza Monoban when she starts fucking, when the moment's like that old time, it's so time when it's still time, it's me and you. And that's so time that we both like, I'm like, oh my God, I just go so crazy. Like it's art, it's just modern art. She is modern Thai art. And she literally makes me wanna visit Thailand so bad. Okay, so really it's gonna be in the, you almost there because of Lisa's rap and also just the instrumental in general. And I just love hearing all the girls. And I love the lyrics too, they're really good as well. I keep saying really, okay, I'm just moving on. So, see you later. Okay, I'm gonna put it under its cue because the rest of these songs are most likely going into the higher ones and I feel like I need to even out the playing field, so. <laughs> Next is Kill This Love. So, Kill This Love came out a one year after. I don't know why I'm giving you a synopsis of all their songs. If you're a blank and you've watched it to this point, um, like the video, <laughs> just YouTuber things. If you're a blink and you're watching it, this video, this long, you know about all this stuff. Or I assume, maybe I should not assume. Maybe I just shouldn't assume. Here's the thing about Kill This Love. When I first heard Kill This Love, I thought it was not good. Like out of 10 stars when I first heard, because I like I watched their V Live. Like I remember last year I was in college. I was in the, I was in like a main lobby of like one of the buildings at my college because like the Wi-Fi was better than at home. And so I literally, you know, got on my computer and stuff and like listened to it until midnight Korean time. So that was, it was 12 p.m. KST, 12 a.m. or whatever KST last year. And so I like listened to it and I'm like, after it's over, I'm like, that's it <laughs> like i was low-key disappointed obviously like it's grown on me i think a lot of k-pop songs do that like it grows on people but when i first heard this kill this love i was not really vibing with it like the horns in the beginning like it's so annoying and then like we must kill this love like at the end it just sounds so wrong like i was like okay <laughs> like so honestly, that was the first time I heard like a Blackpink title track and I was like, mm. But after I kept listening to it, I was like, okay, I see the appeal. But I'm gonna put, and this is a low key controversial, so don't be getting mad. Actually, if you get mad, I don't give a shit, it's my channel. I'm gonna be, <laughs> um, I'm gonna be putting Kill This Love under its cue. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put it under this cute because it's not skippable. Like if I heard it on, like if it went on shuffle in my car, I would probably like listen to it until like that part at the end and I'd just skip it to another song. But I'm gonna put it under it's cute because it is a cute song, like it's a bop. And now he's a total opposite opinion. Um, don't know what to do. I'm just gonna bump that to superior. Don't know what to do. It's probably Blackpink's best song in my humble humble opinion <laughs> and here's why the instrumental is so fresh the dance is so good like low-key wish that you they had a music video for us for like the second singles after like um playing what fire and stay but honestly i wish they would have made an exception for don't know what to do because i can just see them like running around like maybe like a, a flower a field of flowers or like um walking through the city like kind of sad or being like i don't know what to do without you oh it's so good and like hearing rose is like hey 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 i'm like oh ah! and then like the fan chant that goes with it is like jen truly chang and i'm like it really just it really just sends me like honestly so i'm definitely going to be putting that in superior um period so kick it um Kick is okay, it's not bad, but I'm gonna put it in its cue. Let's move on to Hope Not. So Hope Not, I think it's a cute ballad song because like I feel like kind of like every album now is gonna have like a ballad song and like a uh song and a, uh and, a, uh and you know, just like different types of songs. And so I feel like this is kind of the, I feel like this is kind of like the stay, you know, of, of this album. And you know what, not just because it's the stay of this album, but because I just don't like the lyrics, like, and I don't like the, 
I don't know, the instrumental is boring. I'm bored listening to it. So I'm gonna put, let me just give this song child. I'm gonna put it under that category. So don't cry too hard. The last song, which is the most anticipated one. How you like that? <laughs> let me just set the scene for you. So Cameron and I were laying on this bed, watching it. It came out like early in the morning and we woke up at like 7 or 8 a.m. our time. It was pretty early and it was Cameron's day off. So I was like, we're gonna watch it right now. And he was like, okay. And so we're literally watching it and I'm like, this sounds like a song I've heard before. That's the first thing I think. It's like, this sounds like a song I've heard before. And I think, I don't wanna say this, but I think it sounds like an Everglow song. But when I first heard How You Like That, I was like, mm, and then I heard Lisa's rap. See, okay, here's the thing. Like, I'm Lisa biased. I'm so Lisa biased. Like, I love Jenny and Jisoo. Like, they, they are queens on their in their own right. But Hajima, Che Lisa really do be hitting different. But like, literally, your girl need a dollar and that's a hundred. And I want some But honestly, the drop kind of confused me. Like, when I first heard it, I was like, okay, like, like I'm like what the fuck is this <laughs> so I was like obviously very confused but it honestly has grown on me look at you now look at me look at you now look at me and I'm like oh my god okay bitch like I'm looking at you right now like and I'm thirsty with my Kirkland signature water period out of all four categories the newest song how you like that <sighs> It, this is kind of a hard one because I'm thinking superior, but you almost there. But I mean like, look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Like, I mean like, you can't put that any lower than superior. And also the ending, the ending is so catchy. Like my boyfriend and I are always like, do 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 How you like, do 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 Like it's just so fun and so I love it so much. So I think, I think I'm gonna put it in superior. That's it. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, like it, like I said, and subscribe for more K-pop crackhead shit. I love doing these type of things. I did one for BTS. If you wanna check that out, the link is in the description. I did it with the Map of the Soul album. Um, I'm planning on maybe doing another one for BTS, like their whole discography, but honestly, that's kind of a lot of songs. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, live, let me know what you thought. Do you think it's terrible? Do you think I have great opinions? Um, you can definitely let me know. I can take it. I won't cry. <laughs> uh, please don't be me. <laughs> All right, I love you guys so much. Have a great day and... How you like that? Period. What am I, a city girl? <laughs> Period. <laughs>